guys, we are back with another song by Eminem. And which one are we doing today? So today we're doing Believe. Do you know it? I don't know. Do I? I don't know. So I actually, this is one of the songs from this album that I actually really like. So yeah. you've probably heard it around. As we discussed yesterday when we started Revival, we did Walk on Water, which was the first track. Um, I mentioned that when this first came out, I played the album for you we went through it and you didn't like it <laughs> so you've heard at least some of every song oh, but right. i don't know if you've heard you know what i mean everything on yeah the album. i don't know but this is a great song it it's tied maybe for my favorite on the album but it, okay. it might be the best song if you're looking at it like rhyme wise it might be the best on the album interesting okay yes. very so, cool we'll listen and break it down like usual yeah so this video is sponsored by carnivore snacks if you follow our videos yesterday i had the chuck this is the lamb sliders and so far i think it's my favorite it is so good i'll show you they look like little patino chips let's see they look like that and you just eat it mm, it's so good i know i'm talking about my mouth full but Sorry. It's salty and meaty, crunchy. You can let it melt in your mouth, but I am just, you know, I don't have time for that right now. But literally amazing. I'm like obsessed. There's only two ingredients in it. It's 100% grass-fed lamb and Redmond sea salt. And it's not a beef jerky. It's very different from beef jerky. It's like a dried meat mm -hmm. snack something like that and i i can't put them down now because i'm a keto carnivore i only eat meat and dairy really yeah that's pretty much all i eat for my own personal reasons but you can use our promo code with smith <laughs> with smith for 15 percent off your order and the link for carnivore snacks is in the description below you can also use this promo code for Chomps, which is beef jerky. I'll show you the wrapper for that because I already ate it earlier as well. Chomps is beef jerky. It's different from carnivore snacks, but they're both excellent and delicious, and I love snacking on them. And you can use the same coupon code for 10% off all orders. They're both literally insanely delicious. Like, I would eat them at the same time. So good. And um like i said it's 10 percent off all orders an additional 10 percent off subscriptions the link is in the description below for that you can also use this promo code for seat geek you will save 20 dollars off your very first purchase it's a ticket website where you get tickets for concerts and sporting events and things like that and everything is electronic with them which makes things so much easier you don't need a paper ticket We've used them before. We were sponsored by them. It was a great experience. And the link for that's in the description below as well. Check out our Amazon storefront. We've got a bunch of great stuff in there. And like and subscribe. Follow us on social media if you want to. And that's it. Yes. That's it from me. Let me put my... Hold on. So I will point out quickly that the beginning of this song, he is rhyming the last words at the end of the song before so walk on water ended with him saying bitch i wrote stan and when you're listening to the cd it bleeds right into this and he picks up the rhyme so it sounds like he he literally is finishing the bar in the beginning of this song that's pretty cool you'd have to listen to the album to really get that though yeah that's cool yes okay here we go believe and i started from the bottom like a snowman round up oh, like round chalk and still put hands on you staying round up that's how i spend time sucker free confidence high such a breeze when i pin rhymes i just got that air about me like wind chimes yeah another day in the life used to have to scrape to get by now my community's gated and i made it and my neighbors say hi i'm giving them pounds i'm upscale now guess it means i'm way in the sky but i still remember the days up Minimum wage for general labor Welfare recipients is a minor Look how government assistance is major Adversity, if at first you don't succeed 
put your temper to more use Cause being broke's a poor excuse That shit only give you more fuel Show em why you're you so close Got it like I almost got it But close only counts in time bombs and horseshoes So I unibomb shit thick, thick, thick. No remorse, <laughs> screw it, I'm lit And that attitude I blew up on quick That's why they called me firecracker I grew up on wick, 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 wick But a short fuse I got some important news to report to Anyone who thought I was done, nah, bitch, not white spot, lights back on top, my fate, where's yours, do you still believe in me? Didn't I give everything I had to give you to make you see? I'll never forget if you turn your back on me now and walk out, I will never let you live it down. Do I'll never still it. believe. So it's kind of like a similar sentiment to the previous song. Like, do you still believe in me? Kind of. I agree. Of course. This, at least. Yes. So it's this is more shit talking, but you're right. It is like, hey, he's like questioning his fan base and stuff, kind yeah. of. Yeah. So um real quick, I'll point out, I believe this, I don't know if this is the first song ever. But it's right around the time, the first time we're hearing Eminem rapping like the trap artists of today. If you notice the way he's delivering the lines and like the beat. It's like, God, it's like, oh, most got it. Like he's rapping like the trap rappers. A little. Yeah. A little. A hundred percent. That's, you know, what it was. That's like what he's doing. He even like talks about it and he like okay. does the flow. You know what I mean? So it's like different. It's not, we usually don't hear him like that. You know what I mean? Okay. So he starts off, as I mentioned, the last line in the in Walk on Water was, bitch, I wrote Stan. And then he says, and I started from the bottom like a snowman. So there's the Oh, because you have to make the base of the snowman first. Yes. I was like, what does that mean? So I started from the bottom like a snowman, ground yeah. up. Ground up like round chuck. Okay. So this is. Oh, I know. Yesterday. This is. I should have saved that one for this video. There's so much in this. Okay. So, start from the bottom like a snowman, ground up. Self-explanatory. You build yeah. at the bottom, then you go, and then he says, ground up. But like that, ground beef. Yes. Then he says, like, round chuck, which is beef, right? Yeah, which is what, I think it's a type of, it's yeah, like common meat yesterday. in ground beef. Yeah. Then he says, and still put hands on you. Staying wound up is how I spend time. Sucker free, confidence high. Okay. So, still put hands on you. He's introducing a clock scheme. Like the hands of a clock, because then he says, staying wound up, oh, and then okay. is, is how I spend time. Okay, okay, okay. There's this whole, this verse in particular, it's all the way through this. It's crazy. Yeah, I wasn't even, I didn't even pay attention to that. I know. It's very, it's a lot. So then he says, sucker free, confidence high, such a breeze when I pen rhymes, I just got that air about me, like wind chimes. <laughs> So it means like his confidence, like he just has like that way about him. Yes, and then air wind chimes, right? And then um, the breeze goes with wind chimes. Yes, it's yes, such a breeze and pen. air. Yeah, it's it's crazy. This is like a very dense verse. And then he says, <clears throat> "Another day in the life used to have to scrape to get by. Now my community's gated, and I made it, and my neighbors say hi." So I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. But he was struggling, and now he's famous. People like him. Um, now he says, I'm giving him pounds. I'm upscale now. Which is kind of funny because, like, I'm just imagining a bunch of people who, like, they don't greet their other they neighbors like that. <laughs> yeah. They just feel like they have to. That's really funny. Well, that's his point. Like, he's giving them, you know what I mean? Like, he's Oh, initiated. I thought they were. Well, they like, are. Oh, yeah, like, you're Eminem. Like, that's how like, Eminem they're, says hi. They're reciprocating <laughs> it, but it sounds like, you know what I mean? Like, because he, so he goes from used to scrape to get by. Now he's in a gated community. So he's like, yeah, I'm in this rich neighborhood, but I'm still, you know, like I grew up giving pounds and stuff. Then he says, I'm giving him pounds. I'm upscale now. Guess it means I'm way in the sky. Okay. There's so many fucking things. Jesus. Okay. So he's giving them pounds. And then he says, I'm upscale now. So pounds and scale. Yeah. Right? So it's a weight scheme. And then he says, I guess that means I'm way in the sky. Oh, like weighing. Yeah. It, okay. I'm, there's It's crazy. I like, I'm even, I know what it's saying and I'm still explaining it to you and getting like excited. I'm like, isn't this crazy? <laughs> So yes, so funny. like W E I G H weighing the sky. Yeah. Um. Yes. Yeah, so a pound scale weigh. 
Then he says, but I still remember the days of uh, minimum wage for general labor, welfare recipient since a minor, look how government assistance is made, yeah. So, again, he remembers when he was minimum wage jobs and he was on welfare. Yeah. And then look how government assistance is made, yeah. So, you know, this is what happens. Then he says, adversity, if at first you don't succeed, put your temper to more use because being broke's a poor excuse. So he literally says, you know, use your temper to make yourself money. Yeah, like use the anger positively and then to, you know, climb the ladder. Something. Yeah. And then there's the play on broke and poor. Being broke is a poor uh, excuse. Yeah. And then he says, that should only give you more fuel. Show them why you're you. So close. God, it's like I almost got it. But close only counts in time bombs and horseshoes. So that's a that's a take on an old expression. It's horseshoes and hand grenades is the one that I know. That's the only thing almost counts for. Yeah. So yeah, he's saying like, oh yeah, I almost got it. But, you know, it doesn't matter unless you have bombs and playing horseshoes because you actually get credit for those things. That is true. So then he introduces the bomb scheme, the time bombs. Then he says, so I unibomb shit. And then he says, tick, tick, tick. No remorse. Pew. So the Unabomber, obviously, and then the bomb sounds. Then he says, screw it. I'm lit. And Okay, I get it. And that attitude, I blew up on quick. So it was more bombs. Yeah, blew up, right? And then he says, that's why they call me Firecracker. So he's be a firecracker because he's lit, right? Yeah. So you light firecrackers. And then like, so, yeah, yeah. And then he's white. Oh, right. You know what I mean? Okay. So firecrackers, another play on that. And then he says- They're white? What's up? Firecrackers are white? No, no. M&M's oh, white. Oh, cracker. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, it's the play <laughs> on the words. And then he says, that's why they call me firecracker because I grew up on wick, 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 wick with a short fuse. Okay. So this is one of the instances where having the lyrics written out kind of ruins, doesn't show it. So wick is- Assistance. W-I-C. It's women, infinite children. It's welfare. Yes. So he does, they call me firecracker. I grew up on wick. And then he says, wick, 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 with a short fuse. So he grew up on welfare. Yes. And he says, with a short fuse. So he had what he was on welfare and he had a temper, but the short fuse goes back to the firecracker yeah, and the, and the bomb. The, yeah, it's crazy. Then he says, I got some important news to report to anyone who thought I was done. Nah, bitch, not quite. Spotlight's back on. Got my faith. Where's yours? And then. It goes right into the chorus, chorus where he says, simple. yes, do you, <laughs> do you still believe? Didn't I give everything I had to give you to make you see? I'll never forget if you turn your back on me now and walk out. I will never let you live it down. Do you still believe? And then you hear him say, I'll never quit. Yes. So he's confronting his fans in the public. like Yeah, kind of like the last song. <clears throat> like, haven't I done enough everything, like yeah. my track record means nothing it's like oh what have you done for me lately like what about everything i've given you in the past you exactly. know exactly so oh um, and i don't think i got to saying this but i know this song did i say that so you i know you told I me said it when while the song was playing but like sometimes people don't know you can't hear me in the mic <clears throat> at that point i don't think yeah all right pick it up here in me Man, I know sometimes these thoughts can be harsh and cold as ice. To me, they're just ink blots. I just fling them like slingshots and so precise. So you might want to think it over twice. Yeah. Or your retards can roll the dice. But people at least cost you your career. Because even my cheap shots are overpriced. <laughs> but this middle finger's free as a bird. New war headed birth. You just forehead on earth. Too short with a burst. Studied his formula. Learned how to incorporate a curse. Point it towards corporate America. Stick a fork in and turn. Cause four letter words are more better. Heard the world force better. Turn to me. You're getting yours. But sometimes I overdo it. But I just get so into it I was there consoling you and no one knew it When your situation showed no improvement I was that door you walked over to it I'm the light at the end of the tunnel So people are always looking to me as they're going through it When that tunnel vision is unclear Shit becomes too much to bear Since cleaning out my closet When I was having trouble with the snare I'm that unrealistic prayer answered And I'ma get you jacked up Like you're trying to fix a flat uh, When you struggle with despair 
that double fisted bare knuckles coupled with this pair nuts I'm cupping I am your fucking switch nothing can compare do you still believe in me didn't I get everything I had to give you to make you see I'll never forget if you turn your back on me now and walk out I will never let you live it down I never quit believe So this first grades too. I still that still think the first one was like crazy. This one's very good though. Yeah. Yeah. Obvious connections. Like in the first one, you mean? Yeah. yeah, I know. Where if I was just listening and not actually paying attention, I I missed it. I so I <laughs> this song when I when it first came out, I liked the way it sounded. I was like, oh, this gets stuck in my head. The um a few well a few of the lines, but even the melody and stuff. And you like the chorus? Yeah. And then the, the, when he says, since cleaning out the closet, when I was having trouble with the snare, like the way he says that gets stuck in my head. Yeah. But yeah, the more I listen to it, I'm like, holy shit, all these things just went over my head. I've heard this dozens of times and I missed half the song, literally. It's so funny. Yeah. Well, first verse, you can miss a lot of it because it's not completely obvious. No, you have to like think about it. Yeah. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if there's still stuff I'm missing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause then once you hear, once you hear one verse and you hear the next one, like you would either focus on what was just said and then you miss like seconds of everything else. Yeah. Then you're kind of delayed. Yes. All right. So second verse, he comes in, he says, man, I know sometimes these thoughts can be harsh and cold as ice. To me, they're just ink blots. I just fling them like slingshots and so precise. So it's kind of self-explanatory. Yeah, you know, he may say fucked up stuff, but you know, to him, they're just ink blots, meaning like because he wrote them on paper. Yeah, and it's just the way he sees things too. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like he doesn't mean anything. Yeah, it's it. just yeah, exactly. It's art. Um, and then he says, so you might want to think it over twice when you retards can roll the dice, but beef will at least cost you your career. Because even my cheap shots are overpriced. Which is a cool line because like they're cheap, but like overpriced. Yes. Like, ex- exactly. The cheap shots. And then yeah, beef what these cost you your career. So like, I mean, he's referring to like Ja Rule and Yeah, like cannabis. don't start with me or you're going to, you, no one's going to know your name anymore. Yeah. He's saying even if I like, I'm not even fully going at you, I could still ruin your career. Yeah, yes. I never heard of cannabis <clears throat> until we started doing these videos anyway. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. Uh, he's good though. Yeah, he is. He's really good. Yeah, he was actually recently on a, a popular hip hop podcast talking about the beef with Eminem and kind of like <laughs> apologizing ish, and like it was interesting. Um, and oh yeah, so even my cheap shots are overpriced, but this middle finger is free as a bird. Which is funny because a beef way like flipping the bird is like your middle finger. Yes, yeah, so it's like free. He's just doing it. Yeah, and it can go up at any point because it's free. Yes, and then the free ties in back with the overpriced cheap shots. and the cheap shots. Yeah. Exactly. And then he says, nuke warhead at birth. So I think it's at birth, meaning he was a nuke. He's like a nuclear warhead since he was the day he was born, right? Okay. Uh, then he says, hugest forehead on earth. So ego, all that Same. shit. Not ego, just big forehead. And then he says, too short for the verse, studies his formula, learned how to incorporate a curse, point it towards corporate America, stick a fork in and turn. So too short. I don't know if you remember too short. He was a rapper back in the day, but yeah, I do. So he, I believe he got arrested like on stage for, he, they were going after him for like indecency laws for like the songs and his raps and stuff. If I'm not mistaken, maybe unless I'm confusing him with somebody else, but I do believe he was like performing and like the cops pulled him off stage and arrested him for like indecency. Yeah. It's ridiculous. So either way. What does too short for the verse mean? Like he's short? So no, too short's his name. No, I know, but why is he bringing him? Oh, so he's, he's I get like, it, I get it. Never mind. He, I get it. He like, yeah. So he, uh, too short inspired Eminem. So we, we actually hear in like previous songs, Eminem mentioned too short and how like he, you know, looked up to him and stuff. Mm-hmm. And he says, yeah, he looked at his formula. He incorporates a curse, cursing into his song. So that's, he got shit for that. Again, it was yeah. his content. It was, you know, indecency. Well, it was a big thing back then. Yeah. Like, that wasn't really a thing before that. No, exactly. So then, um, yeah, we got to go to the next page, but just remember the, 
So in corporate curse, point it towards corporate America, stick a fork in and turn. I mean, like you're cooking it, it's almost done. Yes. And, Halfway done. And he says, the reason why he incorporated a curse and pointed that towards a, a, America is because four letter words are more better heard. So he's saying it's curse words actually get people's attention. You know what I mean? Yeah, and they do. People will listen. Um, then he says, the world force-fed a turd to me. You're getting yours. <laughs> so I, I had to deal with it. Now I'm bringing it back out on you. Then he says, but sometimes I overdo it, but I just get so into it. Overdo, into, interesting, a little something there. Okay, this is the crazy part of this verse. He says, I was there consoling you when no one knew it, when your situation showed no improvement, I was that door. You walked over to it. I'm the light of the, I'm the light at the end of the tunnel. So people are always looking at me as they're going through it. So like he's talking to his fans who used to listen to his music when they were like having a tough time. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. You say I was so I was consoling you, right? So you listened to my music and you know you felt better, or connected, whatever you felt related to. And then he says, um, "I was that door. You walked over to it." So he's like, oh, so you went to him and then I'm the light at the end of the tunnel. So this is like literal and figurative. I'm the light at the end of the tunnel. So people are always looking at me when they're going through it. Do you get it? You know what I mean? Yeah, like a double entendre. Yeah. So like literally if you were walking in a tunnel and it's black and you see the light, you're looking at that as you're going through the tunnel. And then Eminem saying people are going through a tough time. They're looking to him. Yeah, like I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. So I love that line. Um, then he says, when that tunnel vision is unclear, so tunnel back to that, Yeah. shit becomes too much to bear since cleaning out my closet when mm-hmm. I was having trouble with the snare. Which reminds me, we like went over that song in what, maybe like October yeah, or even November or something like that. That's so funny. I remember you were saying like, oh yeah, and then we're going to get up to that song that has this in it, but it'll be like months from now and <laughs> yeah. it's here. Yeah. It's so a, funny. Where's my snare? I have no snare in my headphones. That's what he's referring to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's funny that you remember that. Yeah. Okay. And then he says, I'm that unrealistic prayer answered and I'm going to get you jacked up. Like you're trying to fix a flat, uh, when you struggle with despair. Get it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> like despair, like sadness, but then like a spare, like a spare tire. Tire, yes. So he introduces jacked up like a car. Yes, like yes. Like you're trying to fix a flat, so flat tire, and then when you struggle with despair, so the spare tire. And then literally- like just excited, like yes. happy again. Yes, where you're looking to him, he gets you amped up, and you're no going through a tough sad. time. Yeah. Yes, and then he says that double-fisted, bare knuckles, coupled with this pair of nuts, I'm cupping. I'm your fucking switch. Nothing can compare. So the double-fisted, bare knuckles. So he's fighting. Yeah. And then coupled with this pair of nuts, I'm cupping. So he's got mm-hmm. balls. He's a fighter. You're he's your switch, and nothing can compare. Um, and the back chorus. into the chorus, and then that's it. We got one more verse. We'll play the rest of the song out and break it down. Start from the bottom, like the knee. Start from the bottom, like a snowman. Oh man, put that in your corn cob pipe and smoke that. But my battery's low, I'ma need a boost in my pack And I know that I always got proof of my back I called you proof because I knew for a fact My ace on the hole, homie I'm calling on you Cause I think I'm slowly starting to lose faith in its own Give me that apron and mode The face in the gold, who's saying with the flow? Fake fans let you two face to the show Let heartbeats loop, produce hate in my soul Laying vocals two days in a row True statement, hate to go down this road But there's only one route to cross this bridge So I walk in this bitch with loose chains Cause all my dues pay but this boost taking us toll but it's never too late to start a new beginning That goes for you too, so what the fuck you gonna do? Use the tools you're given? Or you gonna use the cards you dealt? It's an excuse for you to not do shit with them I used to play the loser victim Till I saw the way proof was driven I found my vehicle and I haven't ran out of gas yet And when they stack decks, turn handicaps into assets Fanny packs our glasses If time was on my side, I'd still have none to waste Man, in my younger days, that dream was so much fun to chase it's like I run in place with a shit dangled in front of my face. But how do you keep up the pace and the hunger pangs once you've won the race? 
When that fool exhaust is cooling off Cause you don't got nothing left to prove it all Cause you done already hit him with the coup de gras Still you feel the need To go full tilt That Bruce Willis, that blue still That true skill When that wheel's loose, I won't lose will Do you still believe? This verse is good too. There's a little, there is a scheme in here that I might miss. How? So <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I was listening to it and I was like, wait, I remember. Like you noticed something, but you can't remember what it was that you noticed. So yeah, there's something. We'll see if we can find it. It's something with, I think it's something with the car again. Whatever. All right. So. He comes in the third verse and he starts it the way he started the first verse where he says, started from the bottom like a snowman, which is the same as the beginning. Yeah. And then he says, oh man, put that in your corn cob pipe and smoke that. Because that's the pipe that like Frosty had, right? Yeah, exactly. Or something like that. And it's a play on the expression, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Yeah, and but a corn cob pipe specifically. Yeah, exactly. Is what like snowmen usually have. I don't know why. Yeah, just I guess just because Frosty did and that's how we imagine it. Did he? It. Am I making that up? No, he did. Okay. Um, then he says, but my battery is low. I'm going to need a boost to my pack. And I know that I always got proof at my back. I called you proof because I knew for a fact. Which is what proof is. It's evidence. Yes. And facts, then, you can say. For sure. And then the battery is low. I need a boost to my pack. So like literally. Like a charge. Yeah. And he's like feeling down. And then obviously like you explained proof. He, he still looks to proof and. Proof knows for a fact. Um, my ace in the hole, homie, I'm calling on you because I think I'm slowly starting to lose faith in it. So give me that apron. So is it apron and mo? Let's see. I have the lyrics pulled up on my phone as we normally do in case we need them. So give me that. Okay, so this is inkling and mo. I actually don't remember what he said here. Give me that. Apron. So this says inkling. I don't remember what I thought he said. Let's hear real quick. What do you think? Oh man, oh man, and put him on that. The boost in my pack, and I know that I always got proof on my back. I called your proof because I knew for a fact. My ace on the hole, homie, I'm calling on you because I think I'm slowly starting to lose faith in its own. Give me that inkling and mo. Face in the. Give me that inkling that you're there. Yeah. Like a sign. You know what I mean? But what about Mo? Because then he goes, Devation. Is that just so it rhymes? Yeah. So he's cutting off the motivation. He's cutting it off at Mo. So it rhymes with flow. Okay. He's doing that thing he always does yeah. where he stops in the middle of a word or a sentence. So yes, give me that inkling. So let me know. You know, I'm starting yeah, to lose faith. Like a little, you know. A sign. Yeah. Oh, come towards here. Oh, I'm away. Yes. I always get cut off of our <clears throat> microphone, no matter what microphone it is. Yeah. Hopefully it's not. <laughs> this time. Okay, so yes, give me that inkling and motivation to go. Hussein with the flow. So Saddam like Hussein. Saddam, yeah, go crazy. Saddam's crazy. Yeah. Yes. Now that these lyrics are fucked up, I'm scared <laughs> that they're wrong. Uh then he says, fake fans that are two faced didn't show. So not at the show. Which is funny because they're two faced and like they didn't show. So like neither face showed. Yeah, that is which interesting. Is, like, I don't know. Something about that is funny. I don't know why. Yeah, no, no. I, <laughs> no, I know what you mean. Because it's not even like they're, they're the side that favored you, that face yeah, didn't show. Yeah, I don't know why it's funny. That's, I, I know what you're talking about. That is interesting. Um, oh, that's also like the thing that you see at a show. Like if it were like a Broadway show, you see like the happy mask and the sad mask, oh, that the is drama true. masks yeah, or that, whatever. Yeah, that is true. Um, and then he continues... Let heartbeats loop, produce hate in my soul, lay in vocals two days in a row. So this is all music, song, scheme, the looping, the produce, and the vocals, right? So you, you like loop a sample typically, typically in a song. So let heartbeats loop. So I guess like putting your shit into this, you know what I mean? The song. Yeah. And then those beats produce hate in his soul. You know what I mean? Like it, that beats and whatever the songs make him angry. And then yeah, he's... I'm sorry, guys. I'm not yawning because I'm bored. I just, I don't know. I'm just yawning. 
Uh, so yeah, laying vocals two days in a row. So that's all like a little scheme about recording music. Yeah. And he says, uh, let's see. I want to make sure that these true statement hate to go down this road because there's only one route to cross this bridge. So I walk in this bitch with loose change because all my dues paid, but this booth is taking its toll. Because like you usually give change. Do you give change to a toll booth? Nowadays, it's like easy pass or like dollars. But like back in the day, it was just change. Yes. So he says, so he goes down this road. So road, there's only one route to cross this bridge. It's like a driving scheme or like a driving out of the state scheme. <laughs> yes. And then loose change and then booth and then toll. There's seven things just in this four or five bars. <laughs> and then, yeah. So the other meaning, you know, is that he doesn't want to go down this bridge like he doesn't want to acknowledge that this is happening you know what i mean like he's yeah. been in this game for a while but recording and being in the game still is like it's you know it's tiring it's you know it's grinding him down you know then he says but it's never too late to start a new beginning that goes for you too so what the fuck you gonna do use the tools you're given so a little like motivational like advice, yeah yes which everyone should always take. Yes. And then he says, oh, I think that was the scheme I was referring to. Remember, I was like, I think it's a car scheme. That was, I said. What did he just say? Remember I said when we started yeah, this verse. Yeah, but are you talking about the line before the last line? I'm talking about the bridge, the toll. Oh, yeah. So it's like a whole car thing. I thought yeah. you were saying the last thing <clears throat> that we just went over was also a car. Oh, uh, no, no, no. I was like, I don't know. So then he says, um, use the tools you're given. Or are you going to use the cards you're dealt as an excuse for you to not do shit with them? So are you going to, you know, use what you have? Yeah, or, or just not do anything at all and keep making up excuses. Like, poor me. My life sucks. Yeah. All these real things that are a disadvantage, but what are you going to do about it? That's what he's saying. Exactly. And then he says, I used to play the loser victim till I saw the way proof was driven. So, you know, he used to do the things he's saying not to do, you know, whining about your cards. <clears throat> then he says, I found my vehicle and I haven't ran out of gas yet. It was good. Like and he found his way to like, mm -hmm. you know, his way to live and his way to get what he wants and like change his life trajectory. Yes. So, okay. Now I remember. So this is why it was complicated. The scheme I was talking about was there and then it's here too. Yeah. The car thing. So it's, he brings it back. But yeah, so his vehicle is rap. You know what I mean? And when he says he hasn't ran out of gas yet, meaning he still has the desire to be rapping. Yeah. And, they, and when they stack decks, turned handicaps into assets. So, you know, people are making the odds against him. They're, they're, the decks are stacked against you, but you turn handicaps into assets. So, you know, you make it work for you. And then he says, fanny packs, hourglasses. If time was on my side, I'd still have none to waste. Interesting. So like, even if he had like a ton of time, like he couldn't mm. waste a single minute of it. Like it always had to be towards like something that's, you know, wrapping. Yes. And then the fanny packs, hourglasses. Oh, and time. What's fanny packs? What does that have to do with I'd this? still have none to waste. Oh, waste. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's sick. I was like, hourglasses, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So he said, if time was on my side. Oh, yeah. And fanny packs. Uh, it's like on your side, technically, but your so, waist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But waist, but yeah, time. So the hourglass, fanny pack, side waist, that's a sick scheme. Then he says, man, in my younger days, that dream was so much fun to chase. It's like I'd run in place while the shit dangled in front of my face. So, so kind of like a like those old cartoons <clears throat> where they dangle like a chicken, like yeah. a drumstick from a fishing pole and then have a dog on a treadmill. <laughs> yeah. Just trying to get them to work out. <laughs> yeah. And he's saying he actually – he was younger and he actually liked that. You know what I mean? He didn't care. Like he enjoyed yeah, the, like, the chase, the you know, the going after it, the journey. Exactly. Um, then he says, but how do you keep up the pace and the hunger pangs – it's P-A-N-G-S. Yeah. Pangs uh, once you've won the race. So that's a good point. Like once you've achieved, like what motivation is there to keep going? Do you know what I mean? And that's what he's saying. You've already won the race, so how are you still hungry? You know what I mean? Depends. Depends how far you were hoping to take things. <clears throat> yes. How far you wanted to go. And then he reintroduces the car shit again. And he says, when that fuel exhaust is cooling off, because you don't got nothing left to prove it all, because you don't already hit him with the coup de gras, 
So the fuel exhaust cooling off, right? So you're in the later stage, right? Yeah. And you have nothing to prove because you already gave him the coup de grace. Did we discuss this one? Isn't that like the end, the finale? Yeah, yeah like it's the, the final? greatest. Yes, it's your finishing, yeah. whatever, the greatest finale. That's your best top of the line. Yeah. And then he says, still you feel the need to go full tilt. That Bruce Willis, that blue steel, that true skill. I'm guessing that was a Bruce Willis mm-hmm. movie. So Bruce Willis, I think he's talking about Die Hard, right? Oh. So, okay, full tilt, that's, uh, you know, that expression. If you go full tilt, you're going like, all out. Yeah, like, yeah. So I think Die Hard is the reference. Now, Blue Steel is a movie that had Jamie Lee Curtis in it, but I, I think he's referencing Zoolander because one of Zoolander's uh, modeling poses was called Blue Steel. And so that was like his amazing move. The whole movie, it was like, oh, I can't wait. So was it Blue Steel? Yeah. So Blue Steel is definitely one of his faces. So I think I think he's referring to Zoolander with Ben Stiller. The Blue Steel is like. Why Bruce Lutz? Because <clears throat> so it says you already hit him with the coup de grace. Still, you feel the need to go full tilt to that Bruce Willis. So Bruce Willis didn't die hard. Mm-hmm. Right? And then Blue Steel. So that. Maybe. <clears throat> so. So is it the Bruce Willis you don't get or the Blue Steel? I don't get – I don't know if it's about Zoolander. So Blue Steel is the – the it was Derek Zoolander's coup de grace, his greatest modeling pose ever. And people were like, oh, can't wait to see it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, I heard it's going to be crazy. That's what like they would say to him in the movie. So, it's, so he's saying you already did it all, yet you're going to outdo yourself. Do you know what I mean? You're going to die hard. You're going to go quick and you're going to give them even something better. Yeah. Okay. So no, you're mm-hmm. right. You're right. And then he says that true skill. And then he says, when that wheel's loose, I won't lose will. Do you still believe? So when that wheel's loose, he's playing on, he's doing the car scheme still, right? So the wheel on your car is loose, right? So it's yeah. like, oh, it's getting shaky, sketchy. He says, but I won't lose will. So it sounds like. Oh, like the will to continue? Yes. But the wheel's loose, loose wheel. Uh, it sounds like the same. You lose the wheel. Yeah, it's uh, a humming phone, Nim, I forget. And then do you still believe? And then it's over. That's it. All right. So believe. So much going on in the song. There's a lot. It is a lot. But it made you very happy and excited. So that was fun I to know. watch. Uh, kind of like took the reins on this one. Yeah. Instead of having me do it, which is good. Because I kept yawning. Not from the song. Just <laughs> from today. Yeah, I'd be tired. <laughs> but yeah, the song is really great. It's like very impressive. Mm-hmm. Um, I can understand why people don't like this album. Because probably there's a few songs on the album that they're like, no. But like this song's really good. It's very impressive, everything that he does. Like, it's like more of his most complicated raps yet, in my opinion. Yeah, I do agree. There's a lot of that in there. Yeah. And so he was, again, his rap, he was doing the trap style, the way he was delivering the lines, which is so weird. We're like, so since then, we've heard him on other songs like that and joking about it while he's doing it, like acknowledging it, being like, I hate this flow. You know what I mean? Then why do it? Because I think he's just trying to show people he can. You know what I mean? Because like the the all the stuff is like, oh, you're old. I'm sure we know you can. You no, but meaning to. like to these beats, meaning like you're old, right? You're old school. You're not. You're not hip. You're not modern. You can't do what these new guys do. And he's like, oh yeah, I can. Watch. You know yeah, what I mean? I see what you mean. But yeah, I love this song. I think it might be the most impressive. I don't know if it's my favorite, like I said, on the album, but it's incredible. Yeah, it's really good. Yes. Definitely very good. Yes. Um, And don't forget to check out Chomps and Seek Geek and Carnivore Snacks. All the links are in the description below. Um, uh, Like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. See you. Bye. Bye.